Welcome everyone, we are here for the analysis of the CBI 2020 paper. This year also the paper was conducted by the NTA. And this time the paper was conducted in one single slot. Uh, overall, the difficulty level of the paper was in same as the last year C last year CBAT paper, uh, but few surprises in the section of quantitative quantitative technique and uh, in the section of the verbal ability. Now, if I talk about the overall uh, structure of the paper, there were four sections. The first section was quantitative technique and data interpretation with 25 questions. The second section was logical reasoning with 25 questions, and the third section was language comprehension with 25 questions and the fourth section was general awareness with 25 questions. So the total questions were 100 with plus 4 for correct answer and minus 1 for the incorrect answer. So the total total score of the paper was 400 and 180 minutes were given to solve the paper. Now if I talk about each section, the first one that was quantitative technique and data interpretation, the surprising element in this section was there were total four questions from the DIE asked this time. So usually, two to three questions were asked, and this time these four questions were directly from the table based. And rest of the questions were ranging from arithmetic to the geometry. Arithmetic were having the share of total eight questions. Geometry were having the share of two questions from triangles as well as mensuration. PNC, probability, and the number system were having the total share of eight questions. And I had an ideal student could have could have easily attempted something around 21 to 23 questions in a time span of 45 to 50 minutes. If I move to the next section, that is logical reasoning. In this section, this time there was one puzzle which was which was carrying four questions, and the rest of the questions were ranging from blood relation, directions, coding decoding, and the verbal reasoning were having the questions from statement argument, statement conclusion, analogy, and CLOGS, each were having approximately one to two questions. So if I talk about the overall, overall health of this section, this section was not at all time consuming this time. Any student could have easily attempted something around 21 questions within the time span of 50 minutes. If I move to the next section, that is language comprehension. In this section, one of the surprise element was there was only one uh, reading comprehension this time, which was having six questions. And like past years, where there was 15 questions from the reading comprehension. And rest of the 19 questions were from the verbal ability. It comprised of the questions from synonyms, antonyms, parajungles, FIBs, and all one out or the spelling, spelling or the spelling based questions were also asked over there. Overall, uh, if I talk about the RC of this section, the RC was from, uh, on the uh, lifestyle of Lokman Yatilak. Uh, five questions were direct and one question was the inference based, in which the question, in which options were slight confusing. Apart from that, uh, as the RCs were asked less, the question, this section could have been easily attempted in something around 35 to 40 minutes. And um, an idle student could have easily achieved 21 to 22 correct. If I talk about the third, if I talk about the fourth section, that is general awareness, in this section there are total 16 to 17 questions from static and 8 to 9 questions that is from current affairs. The static portion was ranging from history to geography to science and technology. And as far as the current affairs are concerned, the questions were from the authors who recently wrote the book to the Booker Prize and to the Miss Universe um, Australia who won the title. So these are the basic questions that were asked from the current affairs section. Any student who are well prepared or read the newspaper for a year could have easily achieved something around 12 to 14 questions in this section within the time span of 10 to 12 minutes. So if I, if I see the overall health of the paper, an idle student uh, could have easily attempted something around uh, 86 to 88 questions with the accuracy of 90 percentage he would have achieved a score of 305 and if I talk about the score versus percentile 99 percentile will be at something around 305 plus score 97 would be at 290 plus 95 would be at 272 plus 80, per 80 percentile would be ranging would be coming at a 210 plus score 
For the detailed analysis, kindly visit our website and our careers. All the best everyone for this admission cycle.